Okay, so, hi you guys. So I wanted to come to you since I'm not able to come live. So this is just a recorded live for you guys. And I wanted, I just didn't want to miss it. And I didn't want you guys to miss our Wednesday stamping at noon. So here I am. And I hope that you guys comment in there because I'm going to be chatting to you just like we're live. And hopefully you guys will be inspired today. And yep, so that's it. So I hope that you guys are having a fantastic week. I am at the doctor's office right now as I, well, as you guys are watching this, I am at the doctor's office with my dad. So just say a little prayer that all goes well because he's got a little leaky valve. So we're going to find out what has to be done there. And I've been having a great week so far. Just trying to keep up with everything and stay afloat. So I am going to go ahead and flip down so that we can get started. And... Yeah, so I know you guys are ready for some stamping fun, so let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so I'm just going to flip this down just like that. There we go. It looks kind of straight to me. I think my paper is not straight, but anyway, so how about if I do like that? Oh, my phone almost went tipsy topsy turvy. Okay. There we go. So I am going to bring in a stamp set that is retiring. I'm a little sad about it, but I haven't really used it that much. I used it on our TP card, but um, we're going to use it today. And I'm going back to basics. I'm going to do some simple stamping. So I'm going to do a simple card and then we're just going to step it up a little bit by using stamping. I don't think I've really done much of that so I thought that I would do that today for you guys so floral essence is the stamp set that we're using I'm also going to use some retiring rococo rose I'm going to miss saying that rococo okay so rococo rose this is a sheet of cardstock cut at five and a half in this direction landscape cut at five and a half scored at four and a quarter. Now, if you want to save time, this is a little tip here, you can score it first horizontally down at four and a quarter, and then turn your paper in and cut it at five and a half, and then that gives you two card bases. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and fold this in half, bring in my bone folder, and there we go, so I'm gonna put that aside. Now I've got a piece of basic white cardstock that is, actually this is Whisper White, so I want to get it all used up, and this is five and a quarter by four. All right, so the images that we're going to be using is this big little, not, this, not the big one, but this medium sized one, and this leaf right here, and then the sentiment is with friendly thoughts and best wishes today and every day. So I'm going to bring in some scrap paper, so I think right here, so that I don't mess up my thing. I, I am such a messy stamper, you guys, you know that about me. And I had to find a piece that still looked pretty decent, so I'm going to try to protect it as much as I can, but I'm not sure. So this is the card that we're going to be making, and then we're going to, I'm going to show you how to step it up a little bit with some extra stamping. Okay, so I am using this little, this, this one, this flower right here, and I'm going to use Rococo Rose, so we're going to open that up. I'm going to stamp in full strength, full strength, just like so, and I'm going to turn it just a little bit to see how this stamps so it looks like it's pointing to where you open up the card. So that's what I wanted to do. I'm going to come down just a little bit in the corner, and then there we go. Oh, shoot. I did that earlier, too. You know what it is, is I bump my, I bump my um, block in the ink and I don't see it and I get in a hurry and that's what I do, but I'm just going to let that be. All right, so now I've got my leaf here and I'm not going to ink the whole thing up. I'm only going to ink it to right about there. 
Okay, so let's do that. So I'm going to ink that up just like that. And then I'm going to pull it up to the top. Oh, that top one didn't get inked very well. Neither did that one. Okay, and then I'm going to just kind of place where I think it should go. You guys know I am terrible at my leaf placement too. <laughs> I struggle with that so bad. All right, and then I'm going to come back in. And I'm going to come down at the bottom just like that at an angle. So there we go. So that's all there is to it. Very simple. Now we're going to come in with our sentiment. And I'm using pear pizzazz. Pear pizzazz for the leaves and pear pizzazz for my sentiment. And I'm just going to stamp it. I probably should stamp it down here because of my ink. Maybe I can kind of hide it a little bit. So just like that. And then we're just going to place that on the Rococo Rose just like so. My sentiment is a little crooked too. Looking at it at an angle, when I'm doing this on my own, when I'm not filming or doing a Facebook Live, I can get right on top of my project so I can see what I'm doing. But doing it when you're filming or on a Facebook Live, uh, it's not so hard without sticking your head into the camera. And I know that you guys don't really like to look at my head. So... And I'm also like really kind of embarrassed because I really need a hair color. <laughs> so, all right. So there we go. So that is that card. So that is that one. Right. Oops, wait, we forgot to do the center. So let me bring in the center. So in this stamp set, each little flower has a different center. So this one is the big round one. This one, if you notice the shape of it, it's kind of got like a little cut out right there so this one goes right in there so that's the one we're going to be using and then this V goes for this one so they make it really really simple for you and since it's photopolymer you can see right through so it's really easy just to line it up and stamp it so just like so so there we go so now we're going to step it up with stamping let me make sure I don't have no ink on my fingers because I'm going to really try not to mess this one up. I am going to, I should clean this off, but I'm just going to, you know what? I've got old scrappy pants on just because I've been in here stamping all morning. So I'm just going to use my pants. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring in another piece of scrap paper because like I said, I really want to protect my surface and yesterday I ruined it so that's why I had to change it was because I was stamping off and stamping off and stamping off and my magenta madness went all the way through and it was bad so I'm going to try not to do that so I'm going to stamp off just like that then I'm going to come in and I'm gonna place my flower right probably about here. And I'm gonna ink that up, isn't that pretty? And then I'm not gonna ink up again, I'm gonna stamp off again, but I'm gonna put my flower right about here, okay? So just like so. So it really doesn't matter where you put your flower, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just to give like a little bit of a background and just to add a little extra, just doing some simple stamping. And then I'm going to take this flower, I'm going to bring it down just a little bit more, and right there, full strength, and just like that. So can you, can you see what we've done there? So isn't that really pretty? And then we're going to come in with our little center. I'm going to stamp the, this, the bright flower, the dark one that we stamped full strength. I'm going to do the center full strength. Then this one was stamped off, so I'm going to do the center stamped off. And then this one's got a little bit of the center showing right there. So it's, it's very, very subtle. All right, so now it's time for the leaves. This one is going to give me a little bit of a fit because this one is, like I said, I am horrible with leaf placement. But we're going to try our best to do this, and I think it will be okay. So we have got this... Um, Pear pizzazz. Again, I am only inking up to where the stems meet, but not the whole stem. Okay, 
That's all I'm going to do. I am going to stamp off. Oh, please don't bleed through. Nope. Okay. So then we're going to just place our leaf right where we think we might want it. Just like so. And then I'm not inking up again. And I am going to come here just like that. And I've got a little bit more and then I'm going to ink up again, but what I'm going to do, whoops, I went too far down. So we're going to wipe that off. Um, I'm going to stamp off on here <laughs> and I'm going to stamp off one more time. Okay. For the leaf that's going to come down from this flower right here. So I want it to go right about there. All right, so just like so. Now I want a full strength one, but not, well, I think I want it stamped off too. So we're gonna stamp that off. I just lightly stamp that off because I want it a little bit darker. And then I'm just gonna come right here, just like that, and ink that, stamp that, not ink it. There we go. So there is our flowers. Now if you wanted to, you could put your leaves out this way, but I'm choosing not to. And now we're going to stick our thumb in the ink. <laughs> All right, so what was I saying? Uh, let me stop and think so I don't get ahead of myself. We're going to put the sentiment on now. So at this point, you could step it up and use a label, or you could just stamp on a piece of cardstock a strip and you could pop it up right across here, and that would be really pretty. Or you could do what I've done here, and that's just stamp it, like in our, our original card here, just stamp it right there. Um, I'm thinking that I might do the stamp it, we're gonna stamp it on a piece of strip. So this is just a scrap piece of cardstock is what I'm using. I'm going to ink it up in pear pizzazz. We're going to keep it simple and keep um, and use pear pizzazz. So are you guys liking this? I hope that you are. I'm probably going to pull this down so you guys might not see. I'm trying not to um, put my head in the camera, but I really want to stamp the sentiment straight. Uh, I don't think I did. Oh. It's not too, too bad. It could be straighter. And then I'm going to take some scissors here and I am going to trim this right here, like so. Come over here on this side and trim this one, just like so. Okay, so if we wanted this to be skinnier, we could do that. We could just come right in, which I think I do. So we're going to do that and just trim that off right there. And then if you wanted to trim more off on the bottom, you could, but I'm going to leave that just like it is. We're going to use some dimensionals. And I think I'm going to cut my dimensional in half just because this is a little bit skinnier. So I'm going to put a dimensional there and a dimensional there. And then we're going to just attach that right here, just like so, okay? Now, there are other things that you could do that would step it up with stamping. You could use maybe a background that comes out from the sides if you're using a background stamp or something like that. You could use watercolors, but you'd probably want to use a watercolor paper if you did that and lightly just kind of went around. You could use your alcohol markers, like a um, probably a the light balmy blue would work, but you would need your color lifter because it would come on, it would, it would be a little dark. So you'd want to just lighten it up with your color lifter and that would be absolutely beautiful as well. And then you can always step it up by one of my favorite ways and that's adding a little bit of bling to it. So we're going to put some bling on here and these are the elegant faceted gems. I colored these using my light uh, Daffodil Delight blends, Stampin' Blend marker, and 
I thought it just got gave it just enough color to give it a pop. So now we're going to bring in another piece of our Rococo Rose. This was the other half of the piece of cardstock that we cut in half. And I am going to hold that, take my bone folder. Now, here again would be another place that you could step this up. You could um, layer it twice. So you could use another color of cardstock to layer this, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it just like it is. So we're going to put a little bit of glue on this and try to center this the best I can. I always say that. And the reason why I do, you guys know, I don't lay things straight or even, but I am okay with that. So there we go. So, okay, so which one do you guys like best? And do you like it? I think that it's very, very pretty. It's back to the basics of simple stamping and it's so super easy to do and you guys if you like the stamp set it is retiring um i'm not sure if this one is um at a discount or not i am still trying to go through my catalog and mark what's at a discount what is it and trying to keep up with what is out is already sold out and sometimes it can be really, really difficult to keep up with it all. But um, I think that this one is, I'm not sure if this one was at a discount or not. I don't, I'm wanting to say no, but let me look and see if I did put this one down or if I got to this one or not. I think that I did. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Yes, this, this stamp set is at a 40% discount. That is a steal. There is a punch that coordinates with it. Um, and that one I did use. Let me show you in case you guys forgot. But on our TP card, this flower, I used that punch to make this flower. Let me look real quick in the catalog and see if I gotta turn it the right side up and see if that one, I don't think I got to the punches yet, so I'm not sure if, oh, I did get to some of them. Um, and it is, that punch is at a 60% savings. So this would be a great set to get. And I will put a listing in the descriptions for all of this stuff. I'm also sharing this on my YouTube channel. So thank you so much for my YouTube followers. I hope that you like this video. Please give me a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to my channel and you're watching, I hope that you do by clicking on that red subscribe button. And don't forget to ring the bell so that you don't miss any future videos. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for hopping on here with me today and I will see you Friday Night Live okay doodly doo